So with the Quest 3 coming out, is the Quest 2 still a good buy? That's a good question. Uh, so the Quest 2 launched at 300 US dollars. Uh, it, it's still at 300 US dollars, but it's actually gone through a, an interesting curve. Originally, it was about a $600 headset that was being subsidized by Meta to assume, presumably take over the market, which, it, which they then did because it was silly value for money. Uh, then, it, because of uh, the impact of lockdown and COVID and economic slowdown, it went to $400, and now it's come back to three. So Meta's offerings are $300 for Meta Quest 2. For Quest 3 on the base model, it's $500. And for Quest Pro, it's a thousand US dollars. So, uh, is Quest 2 still a good buy? Yes, but seeing as what they have done to previous headsets in terms of short shelf life for support, you know, after three or four years, they basically dump support for the thing. They shut down games that are only on that device. They pull multiplayer functionality servers down. So, just don't trust Meta to be supporting and paying the bill for servers and services for very long. If you're happy with a headset that lasts you three years, uh, or maybe in the Quest 2 case, maybe a, a subsequent two years, uh, and you're fine paying $300 for it, then it's good. A personal recommendation, if you're looking for Quest 2, buy a used one for like $200, um, if you can, in good, in good condition. And then you've got a headset, maybe upgrade to a Quest 3 when you can afford it. Like $500 isn't, isn't cheap, uh, but it's important to be able to um, remain aware of how Meta has treated historic headsets, and that has not been very friendly 